We're hearing from the woman whose wedding ring was saved from the Charles River. She and her husband were on the dock at the Charles Gate Yacht Club when it fell into the water. But fortunately, that's exactly where the Cambridge Fire Department stepped in. WBC's Ken McLeod picks up the story. He's live at the Charles tonight. Hey, Ken. Hey, David. Uh, there were a bunch of folks here at the Charles Gate Yacht Club to celebrate the holiday weekend, but for about an hour on Sunday afternoon, it was all hands on deck for the ring rescue. Nice. That's how the Sunday afternoon adventure ended with the recovery of this enormous diamond ring. I did not think we were ever going to see it again. Lynn Andrews and husband Ninos were visiting from Chicago on board their friend's boat, the Rebecca Rose, docked at the Charles Gate Yacht Club to enjoy the big fireworks show the following day. But trouble began when Lynn took her rings off to slather on some sunscreen. And she put her rings in my pocket, which I said was not a good idea. Said, Please hold them for me. <laughs> it was fine until Nino's got hot and pulled that shirt off on the dock. I said a bad word and then took a deep breath and I said, everything's going to be fine. We're going to figure this out. <laughs> That's because two of the rings stayed on the dock, but the big diamond plunked into the Charles River. The lady who runs the marina came over and said, drop, drop a weight on a string and memorize where you where you lost it to mark it as luck would have it the Cambridge Fire Department's dive team keeps their boat here and divers Jeremy Mirage and Eric Moore had some new gear they wanted to try out so when their boss gave the project his blessing in they went truly within a minute Jeremy comes up with it screams I've got it I've got it and blew me a kiss and I blew him a kiss it was sitting on the murky river bottom a dozen or so feet down they all had wives and they all knew how important this was and how sentimental it was to us the couple doesn't want to say how much the ring is worth but the symbol of their love is priceless to them and so is the effort of the firefighters who literally dove in to help we definitely have a story for our kids <laughs> one day that's for sure when we pass this ring down now, since the incident, those fire department divers have actually called the couple just to check in on them. And Lynn tells me that no matter what happens going forward, the ring stays on. Live in Cambridge tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.